my channel if you're new here my name is Chelsea. Today I'm going to be showing you my nighttime skincare routine. I just posted a video of building my skincare routine for morning and nighttime so I'm going to post my morning one and my nighttime one. But today I'm doing my nighttime one. I used all of the products that I got for about a week, a little more before making this video so that I could give you my real reactions to them because with skincare you can't really tell if it's actually good until after you wait a little bit because you have to wait for the product to like start to work so without further ado let's get into it so for building my routine I like did a lot of research I watched a lot of videos from models to just look at their skincare routines and something I noticed was they used way more simple products like simple ingredients and that's something that my skin has always done better with so I kind of implemented that into my routine but the first step is oh I washed my face let me show you in the bathroom I washed my face with sun bum cleanser I've used this before and I really like it and it smells like bananas and it works really well and I have sensitive skin by the way so that is really good for my sensitive skin but now I'm using this bioderma micellar water to just get away any dirt that's left on my skin after I wash my face and I didn't wear makeup today but if I did wear makeup this like gets all of whatever is left off. I never ever ever sleep with makeup on. I have done it once in my life and I will like on accident I just like fell asleep and didn't wake up till morning and oh my gosh it was like the worst day ever. Like it was so bad so I just do not even. I like it does not matter what kind, how long of a day I've had, I always wash my face. Even with not wearing makeup, I went to Manhattan today and like it's notorious for being disgusting. Um, look how much dirt. Like this gets more dirt than anything. I used to use the Garnier one and I never got as much dirt as I got from as I get from this. And also my pores have never been clearer, so I think that says a lot. But next I'm using this toner from Pickles Potions and Lotions. It's a AHA and aloe toner. So the AHA acids really shrink your pores, but then the aloe makes it not as drying as like a regular chemical exfoliant would. That's why I love this product because since I am from up north, well I live in New York right now, but usually when I'm back home, it's really dry, especially in the winter. So this product doesn't really dry as much. I still don't use it morning and night. And some days I don't even use it at all, morning or night. I just kind of play this one by ear on how my skin's feeling. So if my skin's really dry, I just won't use it. The next product I am obsessed with. This, honestly, if you get anything from this routine, let it be this. I think this is my favorite part of my routine. I saw this on TikTok. It was all over my For You page. And I can literally get it like anywhere except for Sephora. I got it on Amazon and it's 20 bucks. It's this Vichy mineral 89 they also have one for your eyes which is really cool but this if i don't use the right serums my skin's really dull it doesn't have acne but it also doesn't look glowy i guess without products on it but this like literally changed my life like it makes my skin glow all day long like you know how glowy your skin is when you first finish your skincare routine that's how my face looks all day long but it doesn't look greasy and that's the key there but yeah it says to use um two drops morning or night i use one to two depending on my mood morning and night i am obsessed with this stuff oh my god it's so good it's so hydrating next i got this serum from bubble it's a niacinamide and vitamin c serum to be honest, I don't know what vitamin C does, but I know it's important. And then niacinamide, I have a serum from Drunk Elephant that has niacinamide in it. And I'm trying to like stop using products that are overly expensive for no reason. Like their price cannot be justified by their ingredients. Certain Drunk Elephant products like the DeBronzy, oh it's so good. Like I justify it, but the serum I was using from them it just wasn't worth it, so I got this. There's another product I use from Bubble later on, or next actually, so I'll grab it. They do the job. They do what they're supposed to do, but they don't go beyond that. So, like, they're not going to make your skin look amazing. They're just going to make your skin, you know, okay. You know, it's like the difference between eating nourishing food and eating just food. Like, both are important, but nourishing food is what's going to 
fuel your body best. Kind of the same thing with your skincare. But anyways, for moisturizer, I'm using their Cloud Surf Water Cream Moisturizer. I got this because it's, again, like the Drunk Elephant one that comes in the push bottle. This one does too, just like that. But it doesn't perform like the Drunk Elephant one. And I've looked far and wide for a dupe for the Drunk Elephant one, and I simply cannot find one. Like, I think that one's like 69 bucks something like that. I'm gonna have to say that one's justified. I can't find anything like it because I can find products that try to mimic it, but nothing makes my skin glow like when I use that, like the Drunk Elephant one. Moral of the story, I'm just gonna buy the Drunk Elephant one. I hate how expensive it is, but until I find another dupe, like, they work. So yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Okay, and the next product is another one I play it by ear, depending on how my skin feels. It's rosehip oil. Well, you can get it anywhere, literally anywhere. I always go to like an organic food store and go to their skincare section. So like this one's from Whole Foods, but like back home, I go to our local organic food store and get one of just plain rosehip oil, like 100% rosehip oil, nothing else. And I originally started using this in eighth grade because... I read that like the Queen of England used it and I was going through like a royalty phase. Yes, so I started using it and it literally, it I don't know how it does all of this, but when I use it, I swear to God my pores are smaller. I don't break out. My skin just glows and I only use this at night. Don't use it in the daytime, like it's oil and it doesn't soak in fast. But then again, it doesn't feel heavy on your skin, which is what I love. It's not super fragranced. Like you would think rosehip oil will smell like roses. It doesn't. Low key, it kind of smells like carrots, which is weird, but anyways, this is probably the most revolutionizing product I've ever used. And the kicker of it is it's like five bucks. So yeah, this is incredible. The next thing is this Tatcha Kisu lip mask. Now, when I started using this, I didn't love it, until I started to run out of it. And then I was like, oh. So I started using other stuff. It doesn't work as well as this. Like, I thought that this was another product that was overpriced. Yes, it's expensive, but I've tried to look for other products like it. Again, like nothing does the job like this. That viral one from Laneige doesn't do anything. Like, I swear to God, it dries my lips out. I don't know if it's the fragrance or what, but this really moisturizes my lips. I'm also, I'm still looking for another one because like this is just really expensive. I want to try the Glossier lip gloss. I can't think of the name right now, but I've always wanted to try that one and I just never have. Oh, another one that's good is Kiehl's. Their lip balm is really good, but yeah. As much as I would like to complain because of the price, this, the Kisu lip mask from Tatcha just does the job. It's good. So I use it for now. My very last product was again influenced by TikTok for good reason. It's amazing. I'm obsessed. The Tower 28 SOS spray. So skincare by Hiram. He's like the only person I like trust 100% with every skincare decision ever. Says that he recommends the serum, but I love the feeling of spraying a mist on your face at the end of your routine. Because I already have two serums, I wanted to kill two birds with one stone get my little mist for the end of my routine, have it be this formula from Tower 28. So I opted for the spray instead of the serum, and I love it. It does a really good job. Mm, it smells like the pool too, like it smells like summer. Oh my god, I love it. Basically, it gets rid of redness on your face. I only get redness like around my nose, so I'll, I'll, I'll like go extra heavy around my nose, but then like sometimes I'll just get weird dots on my face, like it's random. And it's not acne, it's just like, I don't even know what it is. And I have not gotten them since I started using this, which is pretty incredible. And it's like not that expensive in terms of like Sephora skincare. But yes, that is everything. That's my full nighttime routine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. If you have any questions about skincare, comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or if you have any product recommendations, let me know. I love trying new products. Make sure to check out my video building my routine and then my morning skincare routine as well. And if you guys like these kinds of videos, I'd love to make like a makeup routine too. That would be kind of fun. So let me know if you want that and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Feeling good.